just for the sake of clearing up the terminology, hypercasual stems from casual, which meant accessible, and hypercasual means ultra accessible for everyone to anyone, uh, including billions of players around the world, billions and millions of developers around the world, because these uh, games are very tricky in terms of finding the right idea. The big question is why is Hypercasual uh, one of the best places to start? Um, well, because in Hypercasual, the great games are built not just by great teams, but by small teams. And this is super important. When, you want, when you're starting something, you want to start small when you're first trying out. Um, you get to, to learn pretty fast uh, because you're essentially making one game or one vertical slice of a game, one prototype of a game, call it what you will, every, once every two weeks. You're saving yourself quite a bit of time. Uh, as, you know, again, because you're learning fast and because you're uh, working at such a fast pace, you're saving money because your team is is not huge. Uh, and hopefully, if done right, if if you're well disciplined and if you know why you're um, uh, doing it well, hopefully, yeah, you get to make a bit of money if everything is uh, done right and you know um, according to the to what you learn and according to the best market practices. So, um, <laughs> I like this slide. If you compare um, mobile free-to-play, a regular casual title, um, or, a, or a mid-core title, it usually takes about one year to hatch something, uh, and it's a pretty big effort. Um, next slide, please. And if you compare that to hyper-casual, Within the same one year, um, you get to make, you know, even even for a small team, you can make up to 25 attempts per year. So if you compare that uh, to uh, mobile free-to-play, um, you know, you need a, a, a much bigger team, uh, and there's a much higher chance. Um, um, it's it's much more difficult to succeed. Uh, because the the stakes are much much higher. Um, whereas in the casual, you can make many attempts, will come to life, and uh, hopefully one of them will hatch and will uh, bring you money. Especially if you find the right uh, partners, both for your team um, and uh, the right publishing partner.